Kate entered the royal family as a commoner, with no links to historical aristocratic families or titles. And, rather than upsetting the status quo, her background proved beneficial to Prince William, according to royal commentator Joe Little. Asked what Kate brought into the royal family, the managing editor of Majesty magazine told Express.co.uk, I would say, in terms of William, she brought her family. William fitted into the Middleton family very quickly and they took to him as a future son-in-law. I think also a bit of stability and grounding and a bit of normality that William perhaps wasnt too familiar with when growing up because clearly his parents' marriage was facing difficulties when he was a child and he was very aware of that and eventually their marriage disintegrated. With the Middletons, he got stability and a bit of normality, so for that William will forever be grateful. Prince William himself spoke about his bond with the Middletons during his engagement interview alongside Kate with Tom Bradby, broadcasted in November 2010. Saying he was lucky to have been welcomed by his in-laws, the Duke of Cambridge said, Kate's got a very, very close family. I get on really well with them and am very lucky that they've been so supportive. Mike and Carol have been really sort of loving and caring and really fun and have been really welcoming towards me. Michael Middleton walked his daughter down the aisle in Westminster Abbey ten years ago, on April 29, 2011. The Middletons and the Cambridges are believed to have grown even closer with the passing of the years, as William and Kate welcomed to the world their three children. Carol recently spoke about her duties as a grandmother whenever her grandchildren visit her. She told Good Housekeeping she enjoys mucking around with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, as well as Pippa Middleton and James Matthews' children Arthur and newly born Grace. She explained, I want to run down the hills, climb the trees and go through the tunnel at the playground. However, Carol said she does not want to interfere with the upbringing of her grandchildren, reminiscent of how hard being a parent is. She said, I feel it is my children's role to pass on what they think is important to their children. I know how hard it was for me bringing up my own children, that you invest a lot in him, and don't really want to know it all granny out there. While Prince William perfectly fitted into Kate's family, the Middletons also appeared to have understood how to navigate royal life. In an interview with The Telegraph magazine in November 2018, Carol touched upon being discreet over the relationship of Kate and William while they were dating. She said, Over the years, it's proved wise not to say anything. While Prince William was welcomed within the Middleton family, Kate also made an impression with pivotal members of the royal family before her wedding day. According to royal commentator Katie Nicholl, the Duchess of Cambridge first met the Queen in 2008, when she attended with William the wedding of Peter Phillips. She told OK! Magazine, the Queen was aware of someone special but didn't meet Kate until 2008, when William asked her to attend Peter Phillips' wedding as he was in Kenya. It must have been a big deal for Kate but she handled it perfectly. Touching upon her family's lack of noble titles, Ms. Nicol added the Queen saw it as an opportunity for the royal family to get more in touch with the modern world. She said, the Queen liked her straight away and never had any snobbiness about her being a commoner. She realized there were huge advantages to William dating a regular middle-class girl from the home counties. It immediately made the royal family seem modern and relatable. 